Okay, so this is a really quick and simple down and dirty type of example on um, physics and at least one way to start off so that you can begin your experimenting for those of you that this confuses a lot. Uh, maybe I'll come up with some more detailed things later, but I want you to just have a quick idea of how it works. So this first um, build here is nothing more than a ceiling. I made the ceiling half there, half gone. I gave one solid wall and one no wall here. The back is fully closed and the front is fully opened. So when I made this, I went and I exported it. After I exported it, I came back into Blender here and I duplicated it. And I just duplicated the one with the red so you could see it. On the red one, I took away all the inner walls, all the extra geometry that really wasn't needed. This is where I want to have walkable surfaces, where I want to have open walk through surfaces such as the roof on this half and the front. And then the solid walls I did not want to be able to walk through or fall through. And I went and I uploaded or exported that as a regular um, collada file as well. Okay, so with both of these now um, done and um, uh, <laughs> exported, let me go ahead and show you how I up how I uploaded them. Okay, so here I am in Second Life. Um, I'm going to go to Build and Upload Mesh. When this pops open, I have my physics sample here. This is the first one. So let me open that. And you can see that it's all here. I've got my um, solid walls and I've got the solid back. This is the one with the full geometry in it. And basically, you just... Um, This example, oops, outside without that P. And of course, I don't know why, I always get my second letter. <laughs> I'm the worst typer in the world. So I'm just going to leave all of this as it is and calculate my fees and 11 upload, half a land impact. And here is that sample. So, or the, the outside. Let me lift it up. And actually, let me scale it up a little bit because it's kind of small. I oh, don't want it going through the trees. Okay, so then I'm going to take this and I'm going to go to the Object tab and set this to Phantom. And that's done. The next one I'll do is Build, Upload, Mesh Model. And here I have the sample shell. This is just the red one here. Let me open that. And what I'm going to do is go to the physics tab and it says choose uh, level of detail, choose one. I'm going to choose from file and browse to that one I just brought in and click open. And now you can see that it's on there. I calculate and 11 with half a land impact and like I said this is just a simple way of doing things so here is that piece all right so let me go ahead and I'm gonna copy the location and the size and paste the location and the size and on this red one I'm going to keep it you know as it is I'm not going to put it on phantom but I'm going to go to the Features tab, and where it says Physics Shape Type, I'm going to set that to Prim, and click OK. And let me just go see, see if I can show you the difference first. So, this one, of course, we can walk through. I can walk through the front and the back. I can walk through the walls. I can jump and fall through the ceiling. 
so that's not exactly a solid house. Now if I take my little sample here and put it back where it belongs, and they're going to flicker, so don't worry. But now when I go here, I can bump into the wall just like real life. And I'm just showing you that um, for this one here, the uh, physics one, uh, I took away the outside geometry, but honestly taking away the, I took away the inside geometry, but taking away uh, the geometry on the right side or the correct side that you want is probably going to be the best. So instead of taking away the inside wall, I should have just taken away the outside wall. Or I could have left them both there. But now you see I can't walk through this. And again, I should have taken away the correct geometry so that you'd get a really nice example. But there we go. Let me just reshape that. So I can't walk through it. And here, whoops, my trees are in the way. So when I jump <laughs> through here, You see? Whoops. Wow, I should have made a better place for this, but this video was done spur of the moment. So I didn't set up a place for it. But now you can see that I am on top of it, and I can walk, and I can fall through. Now, if you're going to link these, you have to make sure you link them in the correct order. If you link these together, um... Uh, don't do the phantom one as the root because the phantom settings will transfer over to the prim physics that we made. So you want to make sure that you do that in the uh, right order or don't even link them at all. You don't really have to. You can do soft select so you just select them both and pick them both up. But anyways, there's a little tutorial on it. I hope it helps somebody. And if nothing else, it begins your experimenting with all of the different settings inside of the physics tabs, both in the uploader and in the, um, the edit tab. Make sure, oh, well, if you watch, just make sure you subscribe to the channel and pass the links and all that stuff and have fun.